Hi, my name is Glenda Ma and I live in Salem, Oregon. I'm a textile artist and I specialize in stitch resist chivalry, collage, and whole cloth quilting. My primarily medium is uh, cotton, linen, and silk, and I typically use only indigo and a few other natural dyes in my work. For the piece that I created for Light the World, entitled That's How the Light Gets In, I used primarily uh, silk and a linen that had had some stitch resist shibori done on it. I'm very excited to uh, talk about my piece and I want to start by reading to you the uh, artist statement that I submitted with the piece and a little bit about the title. <clears throat> the title of this piece as I mentioned is How the Light Gets In and it's based on a song that was written by Leonard Cohen called Anthem and this is one stanza from that song. Ring the bells, ring the bells that still can ring. Forget your perfect offering. There is a crack in everything. That's how the light gets in. This verse really fits the year 2020, which is when I created the piece. The issues of global warming, gender rights, misogyny, systemic race, and systemic racism have brought, been brought out from the darkness and into the light so the world can examine them and hopefully, through education and self-awareness, shed light on the problems and offer solutions. So it's now 2023 and we're still searching for answers to these same problems, global awareness, racism, and social justice. But perhaps by going through COVID and living to that time of darkness, we are more willing to examine the issues and ourselves and uh, continue to learn and hopefully make the world a better place. To create this piece, I used primarily all silk. And I started out with an undyed piece of silk, very similar to this. And I first degummed it, removing some of the Saracen out of the silk, which yielded a plain piece that when dyed would yield two different colors. This piece was dyed using a stitch resist, and you can see there's a white pattern against the uh, blue indigo. And it's a very striking uh, look, and the light hits it in different ways, and when cut into small pieces, you get a variety of different shades and opacity. So to create the piece, I dyed several of these silk pieces and laid them out on the table and then started cutting them up into smaller pieces and sorting them by shade from the dark all the way to the very light, uh, lightest shades. And then and started building my piece on a, a piece of substrate that was light blue and uh, then would reflect more color through the, the silk as it was layered onto the piece. I started by building out from dark to, to light and then I added in some uh, black walnut dyed silk that gave it a bit of, a, of an earthy look around the bottom of it to kind of anchor my piece. I was really pleased with the way it all came together. And then as a bonus, I noticed that as I put my pieces on, which I attached with glue, that over time those pieces would probably come loose. And so as it's traveling through the exhibit and being rolled up and unrolled and hung, those pieces may, may end up falling off, and which will add another dimension to the piece an additional crack perhaps in the piece, which will then change it over time and also maybe become more meaningful as it's examined by its audience. So thank you so much for coming to the show. I appreciate your attendance. I wish I could be there too. I've never seen my piece hanging in situ, so it would have been really fun to be there and hopefully still get to see it before it, uh, it finishes its tour. Um, I want to take this time to also thank SACWA for all of the support that it gives uh, textile artists that, that belong. We just would be lost without them sometimes. Um, many of us live in small communities or smaller communities that don't have a, a large textile uh, support group and, and audience. And so it's important that we have the social media contacts with SACWA and the local connections with other artists. And I appreciate so much that effort. Uh, for SACWA to collect pieces, put on exhibits, and give us support by offering classes and seminars and just putting us in touch with other artists. So thank you so much, SACWA, for Light the World exhibit, and um, I hope you all enjoy the exhibit, and I thank all the other artists who are exhibiting and feel honored to be in the exhibit with you. Thank you.